What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode. I am very excited to show you guys this spectacular home. We are at Elgin Park Estates in South Surrey. This is Parkside Living at your finest. This home is sitting on one of the best lots in the entire subdivision. A huge shout out to Willow Tree Homes, who is the builder of this gorgeous home. And a big thank you to Sunny Sangha of Century 21 for letting us tour this home. This home features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 6,500 square feet of interior living space, and sits on a massive 14,300 square foot lot. The home is listed for just shy of $3.9 million. All right, let's go check out this house. The first thing that you notice is this massive driveway. You could probably fit about six cars right here. And I also really like the tinted glass on the garage doors. One of the coolest things about this yard right here is that builders, when they get a lot, they cut down all the trees. I really like that they kept all the trees. It makes it feel like you're in a forest as soon as you step onto the property. Over at the front, we got a nice water feature. And on that side, we actually have a park. Super private. Follow me. The front of the home is cladded with longboard and smooth stucco. To my left, we have that water feature and down this way, it takes you down to your private backyard. And I really like the landscaping on both sides of, of, of this walkway. Over here, we got some more longboard finished these pillars. And then on both sides of your massive front door, we got some glass, which allows you to see into the home. This is a massive door handle right here. All right, let's go check this house out. Welcome to the inside of this beautiful home. There are so many things that come to my attention right away, but that metal stringer holding up those stairs is definitely the coolest. We'll talk about that in a second. On my right side, we have the formal living and on my left side, we have the dining. So let's go check out the formal living first. Over on this side, we have a linear fireplace and on the wall, we got this beautiful choice of wall molding. Over here, we actually have an open to below area. You could be on the top floor and see what's going on over here. I think that's really cool. And in this room, we actually have 20 foot ceilings. That's crazy. And this glass, or sorry, this window allows a ton of light to come into this area. It overlooks the quiet private street in front of us and also that awesome landscaping right there. Uh, super private area, I like that a lot. Another key detail that I wanna to bring to your attention is that when I'm walking on the hardwood, uh, it changes from room to room. We had parallel uh, planks over here and over here we have herringbone and it's gonna switch over to parallel over here. I think that's crazy. Over here we have stage seating for eight people. You could definitely get a lot more. Excellent choice of a light fixture up above the dining table. And over on the back wall, we got this cool design with the wall molding and they've lit it up with these LED lights, which makes it stand out even more. Over down here, we have some cabinetry. And what I like about this is that there's no handles. You just push to open it up, just like that. Perfect place to store any of the cutlery that you would have. All right, even the choice of st staging is awesome. This complements the floor very well. I like these leather seats. So now let's go into the service pantry. So this service pantry, has not one, but two bar fridges. One on this side and one, one over here. That's crazy. So over here we have one of the most distinct sinks that I've ever seen, a colder sink. I've never seen anything like that. I think that's really cool. Beautiful countertop. And then obviously the perfect area to store all of your bottles right here, right? We got these floating shelves right here with these puck lights. It just looks amazing. All right, now let's go into the kitchen. So obviously the first thing that you notice is how big this area is. This is a massive island. And they finished it with the waterfall edge countertop right here. And then over on this side, we have the dishwasher, which is Gen Air. And over on here, this side, we actually have a different color cabinetry. I really like that. And once again, the, uh, the handles of the cabinetry are very sleek and modern. I like that a lot as well. So we got a ton of windows throughout the entire house. We got a nice big window right here, which overlooks your backyard. Um, it's a casement window. And even the window sill is the same material. It's the same countertop. So they put that as a backsplash and as the window sill as well. I think that's awesome. All right, so follow me down this way. So over here, we have a six gas burner stove with the skillet right here and a commercial sized hood fan right up above. 
So down this way, we actually have a side-by-side -side Electrolux fridge and freezer. That's huge. Down here, we have the security system with the monitor right here. That's eight cameras all around the house. That's awesome. So down this way, we have your wall stove and oven right here. And then also a coffee maker right here. And then also a convection oven right here as well. Down this way, we have the second kitchen. And this is complete with a fridge, a four burner gas stove, right? And we got a nice hood fan right up above as well. The cabinetry in here is a little bit different from what we saw over there. And then we got the sink right here, and which overlooks your backyard. All right, another cool thing is that this door, which is made out of glass, separates this area from that area. I like that a lot. Down this way, we have a pantry. This is a great size pantry. Uh, and we got some more shelving right here. You could put your stuff right here. I think this is called a lazy suit, I'm not sure. And then ton of storage over here as well. Okay, now let's go into the laundry room. So once again, this is actually the mudroom and laundry room. We got side-by-side -side Electrolux machines, a ton of area to fold up all your clothes, some extra storage up here as well. And then over here, we got another pantry. You can store whatever you like. You can have your broom. This could be a broom closet. You hold your vacuums. Or you can even put all your food right here, extra food that you may have. And this is actually really cool as well. Uh, nice little area to put on your shoes. You got some storage down below and your coat hooks right here. And I like the stacked ship lap right there. That's awesome. Let's actually take a look at the garage as well. So you know that the builder went that extra mile because even the finishings in the garage are a high end. I know a lot of times builders just leave wood here, but they've gone that extra mile. This is metal and glass railing, even in your garage, finished with the epoxy paint on the ground. And over in this corner, we actually have a pre-built Tesla charger right here. How cool is that? That's awesome. And you get the full clearance because they're wall mounted garage doors right to the ceiling. That's great as well. And they're tinted as well. So you can't really see into the garage. You can see out, but you can't see in. All right, let's go back into the home. All right, so down here we have the nook and a beautiful light fixture up above. Down that way we have the family room, which we're gonna get to in a second. But I just wanna show you guys the backyard and uh, the balcony over here. So check this out. Awesome choice of the railing. Over here we got some metal right there and on the inside it's glass, 10 millimeters thick I believe it is. On the ground we're walking on epoxy stone and over here we have a nice seating area and an outdoor kitchen. So this outdoor kitchen is completely equipped with the barbecue, a Blanco sink, water faucet right here, and then a fridge right here as well. And the top is finished with this man-made stone. Down this way, we have some stained cedar soffits and skylights in between, up, up top as well. Over here, we actually have some built-in speakers as well. I think that's really cool. This is a super private back backyard and it feels like you're in the middle of a forest because you guys have some massive trees on your property. And the coolest thing about this lot is actually parked side because you have no neighbors to your left. That's actually a park right there. That's amazing. All right, now let's go check out the living room. So this is where the family hangs out. We got a massive fireplace at the front of the room. It's a gas fireplace. I like the little stones in there. And we also have a fireplace hearth and a fireplace mantle as well. I think that's awesome. And I like that it's a contemporary finish with the cement look. Over here up above, we have wood backing and a massive TV right here. I think this is an excellent area to hang out. All right, let's go down into the master bedroom area. Okay, so before we go check out that area, I just want to show you guys the powder room. The powder room in this home has amazing tiles on the ground. I like the choice of that black tile. And on the back, we have this cool backsplash. The toilet is actually a total floating toilet. And the flusher is wall mounted onto the back wall over here. That's grohi. And then we got the faucet coming out of the wall. That's awesome as well. And a very, very distinct, unique choice of sink, which is elevated from the countertop. And up above, even in the powder room, they've done an excellent choice with that light fixture. 
The builder, Willow Tree Homes, spared no expense in this house. I think that's awesome. So there's multiple master bedrooms in this house. This could be your master bedroom if you wanted it to be. And over here you have a his and her vanity. We got a mirror on the back over here, which is pulled away from the wall, LED light behind it. I think that's awesome. All the sinks in this house are Kohler, I believe. I love Kohler sinks. Very sleek handles on the cabinetry over here. And then a massive shower right here as well. I'll let you come into this area. All right, so beautiful choice of the tile, which is the same one on the ground. We got a nice shower sill right here, massive shower head as well. I think they did an excellent job in this washroom. Let's go down this way. So you can get a pretty big sized bed right here. And on this back wall, they got some more wall molding. And down this way, I think it's a walk-in closet. Yes, it is but there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, so I won't show that. All right, so follow me down this way. There's a couple key details that I wanna show you guys. So the entire home is controlled with Control 4, and you could do uh, pretty much everything from here. You can control the lights, the music, you can watch some stuff on here. All of the security is controlled from right here. This is called Control 4. And the temperature in the house is controlled with Nest, which is placed right here as well. I think that's awesome. All right, now I wanna show you guys these amazing stairs. So on the one side over here, we have floor to ceiling uh, glass, which serves the purpose of the railing. And then we have this massive metal stringer going right down the middle, holding up these huge slabs, which are your uh, steps. And then on this side, we have the very contemporary handrails, which are finished in the stainless steel. I think that's awesome. So we've seen a lot of flooring stairs. I think that these guys have nailed it. They have done an excellent job. Now let's go upstairs to the master bedroom and the other bedrooms as well. Follow me. So the stairs have been finished in the same engineered hardwood that we saw on the main floor. I like that this is super wide over here. Let's go check out the four bedrooms and four washrooms on the top floor. So right over here is where we have that open to below area. I think that's really cool. And down this way, we have one of the bedrooms. So this is Parkside Living at your finest. What you're looking at over here through this window is actually a park. That's amazing. That's a green belt right there. That's never going to change. Super private. So every single one of the bedrooms on the top floor here has its own feature wall. So this one is very distinct. This is baseboard and I like that it's beveled like this. Over here we have a nice sized washroom and closet. So we got the shower over here with the shower sill, massive shower head, toilet, vanity as well. And then over here we actually have, over down this way we have separated by this door that has frosted glass, your walk-in closet. I think that's awesome. All right, let's go check out the other bedrooms. All right, so down this way. So another few details that I wanna to bring to your attention. Usually the plugs are in the wall, but they've made it cleaner by putting it in the baseboard. And I also like these lights that illuminate the floor. All right, so down this way, this room has been staged as the baby's room. And then over on this back wall, once again, a beautiful feature wall right here, a light fixture up above, LED lights, drop ceiling, and then the baby gets its very own washroom as well. This is a huge washroom with LED lights behind the mirror. We got a beautiful vanity, uh, awesome choice of the tub, and I like the texture tile in the back over there. All right, so now let's go to the third bedroom, which is down this way. So once again, a great size bedroom, feature wall on the back over here, overlooking your private street right up in front of you. We got the washroom over there, the closet over here. And once again, just a beautiful washroom. Excellent choice of the light fixtures in here. And then pulled away with the LED light behind it. And then a good sized shower back here. That's awesome. All right, now let's go back into the hallway. And over here, we just have some storage. And down here we have the master bedroom. So welcome to your master bedroom. 
Over here we have the feature wall. Over here we got the light fixtures. I like how the builder has thoughtfully placed these windows on both sides. So that allows you to put a massive king size bed right in the middle. Then that's awesome. A drop ceiling, LED lights, and this barn door, which separates your closet and the master bedroom. So down this way, and I've said this before as well, when we tour homes, I love when the closet comes before the washroom. It's just so practical. And this is amazing. Each one of these uh, doors here has a mirror built into it. It's a really cool look. All right, so welcome to the ensuite. Over here, we got the Kohler sinks raised above the countertop, his and her vanity, uh, massive mirrors, a skylight up above. We got a uh, freestanding soaker tub right here and a gigantic shower right here with uh, body jets as well. I'm just gonna go in here. And yeah, there's a body jets right here. Massive rain shower up ahead. I think that's awesome. And then down this way, we actually have the toilet right there and then some extra storage right behind this area right here. I think that's awesome. All right, so follow me down this way now. So that wraps up the tour for the third floor. Let's go check out the home entertainment system. All right, so I'm walking down the floating stairs. On my left side, we have the same floor to ceiling glass railing right here. To call this the home entertainment area, we'll not be doing it just because there's so many different areas. We got a wine display, we got a home theater system, we got a TV area, we got a gym. So first, we're gonna go check out the flex room, which is down this way. So over here, we got a massive flex room. This could be your bedroom if you wanted it to be. This could be like the third TV area, whatever you would want. Massive windows, you know, allowing a ton of light to come into the basement. You wouldn't even know that this is a basement because there's so much light coming in here. Beautiful choice of the light fixture up above. And down this way, we got a closet first and then a massive washroom down here as well. I like that the glass has been pulled away. LED light behind it. And then awesome choice, very sleek setup over here. I like this a lot. Okay, so now let's go down to your home gym. Actually, before the home gym, we actually have another room currently staged as the you know home office or something like that. I got a ton of books. I would definitely put all my books up here. I like that a lot. And on the back side over here, we got that same cabinetry. You just push to open it up. I like that there's no handles on it. Very modern look. All right, so now let's move on into the gym. So down this way, we have the gym, which is separated with this glass door and the glass right here as well. All right, so a lot of times we see gyms in the homes that we go and tour, but nothing that's pre-set up like this. You got the gym mats already on the ground. You got the mirrors already pre-installed. You got a TV for some motivation. And then I think, I'm not sure if this gym comes along with the house, but I think this is a pretty sweet setup. Once you're done sweating in the gym, you come to the sauna, which is right here. Personal sauna for yourself. And then down this way, which I think is probably the coolest thing that I've ever seen in any house, is a urinal. I don't think we've ever seen that. And then down this way, we have a massive shower with the shower seat right here, a gigantic shower head right up above. I think that, that is great. All right, now we're gonna exit through this way and let's go check out the home theater area. Follow me. All right, so actually before we go there, I just wanna bring something that I can appreciate because I'm a builder myself, key details like this. This is called, I'm not sure exactly what type of baseboard this is, but I've never seen it before. I like it a lot. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Nice picture frame around this door. All of the baseboard in the entire home finished around the doors is done the same way. I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. So this area right here is separated with this gigantic barn door. Check that out. I think that's really cool. So directly in front of us, we got a nice seating area over here. Right, nice linear fireplace with three floating shelves on both sides. Down this way, we actually have a slider door that opens up to your private backyard, which we're gonna check out in one second. Once again, massive casement windows, or sorry, actually these are not casement, these are actually sliders, which just pop open like that. So now let's go check out the bar. 
Also a really cool design in this uh, downstairs area are these beams up above, stained in the same color or a similar color to the floor. So over here we got some TCE material, I believe it is. I like that it's a raised bar up here. And then over here we got your bar fridge right down here. And we got a sink right over here. And one of the cool things about this bar actually is that the LED is pointed up instead of down. Most of the time we see it down. I think that it's an awesome look when it's pointed up like that. I think that's great. And we also have a dishwasher, a Samsung dishwasher right here. That way if you have some glasses that are being used, you just wash them right here, and put them back on display. So this is a very creative and well used space right here. So you got the wine display right in this area. And it may look small, but it's actually pretty big. Check this out. You can definitely hold a couple hundred bottles in here for sure. I think that's awesome. All right, so now let's go into the home theater room. So currently the lights are off and I really appreciate the design on the wall over here. I think that's awesome. And over here we got the TV. It's pre-installed for a projector as well. I'm just gonna switch on the lights. Okay, so we got the same design on this side. And then up here we got the speakers and we got more speakers in the uh, ceiling as well. Same thing, you just pop it open, hold all your receivers right down here. I think that this is the ultimate space to watch all of your movies. All right, now let's go check out the backyard. Follow me. So the cool thing about that home theater area is that it has its private entrance and exit right into this awesome backyard. So like I said before, this is one of the best lots in the entire subdivision. You have a park literally right here. That's awesome, that's so private. You're never gonna have a neighbor on this side. All right, so now let's go explore the rest of this backyard. So I really like when I'm walking on here, we got these big concrete blocks on the ground. We got some nice shrubbery right here. And what we can't really see right now, but at nighttime, these spotlights actually illuminate these trees. I think that's gonna look awesome at nighttime. I've seen some of the pictures, it looks amazing. So once again, you just have a green belt on the backyard over here. Awesome backyard, perfect area to just hang out. Now, let's go to the front of the house where we're gonna wrap up the tour. Wow, that was some top-notch construction and design. A huge shout out to the builder who is Willow Tree Homes. A big thank you to Sunny Sanga of Century 21 for letting us tour this amazing listing. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next episode.